Welcome to the 23rd day of April and this is another edition of KHC Couples Devotional. Today's title is What Every Husband Wants from His Wife. There is one thing that every man wants and we are looking at it today. His foremost need is also what you can guess. What could that be? Well, you don't need to hold your breath. It is sex. On KHC, we call it Jeru Trip. A man craves for it, he longs for it, he imagines it, he thinks it, and that is actually in order. Sometimes he begs for it, pays for it, and even puts all his career online for it. When I first got married to my wife in 1999, I would catch myself anticipating jail trip later in the night. I would catch myself thinking about it with my wife, and I would quickly ask, God, ask for God's forgiveness. This continued until I saw a scripture that made me know that there's nothing wrong when you think that way with your spouse. That scripture delivered me. Now, religious people will never agree with that. Proverbs 5, 19, the KJV version says, Let her be as the loving hymn and pleasant rule. Let her breasts satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. The word ravished means to be filled with intense delight or to be enraptured. Message translation says, don't ever quit taking delight in her body. If you think anticipating Jerry Tree with your spouse is a sin, then you are holier than God. When a man craves, longs, anticipates, imagines and sends SMS to his wife for the eventual Jerry Tree later in the night, there is nothing wrong with that to be continued tomorrow. Let's look at our meditation for today. It is taken from Proverbs 5 verse 19, the KJV version. It says, Let her be as a loving him and pleasant rule. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her. Our prayer for today is that pray that you appreciate the body of the spouse more. Two. Crush every power that's trying to crush your marriage by crushing your sex life. And three, pray that your spouse appreciates your body more and that God should help him or her to extend forgiveness to you for wrongs done. Our confession for the day. My spouse and I are committed to our marriage. We explore each other's body well. We are drunk in each other's love. We do not withhold our love. We express it. The scripture says to ravish, and therefore we are ravished in each other's love. Another's love we cannot drink. We keep our gaze only on each other. Thank you, Jesus. Our action plan for the day is do something for your spouse today that passes the message, I love you. We'd like you to partner with us in cases in our club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international gifts, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kcsanos.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kcsanos.com slash books if you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at shouts of grace center it's at joker plaza beside transfer business park holding ui road in the city of Ibadan. on sundays we have two services by 7 30 and 9 o'clock and by wednesdays 6 p.m it will be our pleasure to have you kindly follow us on cases and us club at cases and us.com you have a lot of resources for your soul.